I'm Don West for the Ozarks Previews, and we're here today at the Marucci Clubhouse Midwest for the photo shoot of the 2022 Ozarks Baseball Preview. And joining me now is Blythe Blakey from Logan Rogersville High School. Blythe, when you found out you were on the cover of the magazine this year from your coach, what was your reaction? Uh, I was a little surprised. I didn't know how to react because it was kind of like, I've always wanted to be on the preview so it was more of like an honor and kind of a shock of wow I'm actually getting to do it and like kind of I've always looked up to those guys like guys like Reed Metz, Thomas Kane that were on the preview a couple years ago. I just always wanted to be that guy up there and it's a bunch of the top guys from around here so it feels good to be one of those top guys. I was going to say you probably know several guys that have uh, done this before. I know a lot of them, a lot of guys in there I've known. I've played baseball with a lot of the guys in here today like Evan Helton, uh, Kale Clark, Lake High, those guys, played with those guys for a while. Let's get right to that on Evan Helton. That's the State Fair Community College, and you're going to be a teammate of his there. Yes, sir. He's going there to pitch, and I'm going to be a hitter, but we both get along really well. He goes to Stratford, played them, played each other for a while now, and it's kind of good, friendly competition. Coach Casey Lettle, uh, what have you learned from him about baseball, and uh, what's his uh, presence meant to you? He's taught me a lot as a player. He's always a uh, He's always a guy I like. He likes to say his favorite quote is "Don't suck." So <laughs> we use, we use that a lot in our life. Like just kind of if you use that in your lives, so it's been like a quote I use in my life. Like just "Don't suck," really. It's the best way I can put it. Okay, and uh, your season coming up. What are you looking forward to the most? Well, after last year, it's hard. We we left a little early in the districts last year shouldn't have lost first round stuff happens as baseball balls fall where you don't think they would i was on the mound that game so it was a rough loss for us this year if we don't win our district don't win our conference it'll be a disappointing year from rogersville and your pitching numbers uh, last year a five and two record era of 2.59 and a lot of innings 51 uh, innings of work you expecting that much or more this year I'll probably, it'll be that much, if not a little bit more again this year. I was injured a lot in the fall, came off a shoulder injury, but we're fully healthy now, so I expect that, if not a little bit more for me again this year. Was that a pitching-related injury you had? It was just a wear and tear injury. Pitched a lot in the summer. I didn't sit hardly any this summer. I played a lot of third base. Just throwing a lot of baseball as hard as you can, max effort. Drop some names here for us of uh, who we're going to see on the field for Rogersville baseball this year. So you'll have Curry Sutherland, who was in here early, but – He'll be a guy we won't get till April coming off Tommy John surgery. We get somebody else off of Tommy John surgery named Logan Taylor. He'll be a big key for us in the outfield to help solidify it. Sophomore Ross Lawrence, who had the second most innings for us pitching-wise, guy who's 83, 84 from the left side for us. Clay Palin, a buddy of mine, second base. He's really good. He's going to go to Missouri Baptist. Our first baseman's going to C of O, Hunter Lewis. Then our shortstop will be Tanner Peterson. Our, outfit, our last outfield will probably be a Taysom Pringer, kind of a mix to see who it is. And our catcher is Noah Caro, another guy who's just really studded, found the bat really well last year, hit a few bombs for us in the summer. He's going to be – he'll fit in the middle of the lineup for us. You sound like a coach. Do you aspire to be a baseball coach? I, no. I mean, I'm just going to do whatever happens, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what are your future plans? Do you have a career picked out? I do not. I'm going to go to State Fair. I'm going to get all my prereqs out of the way. Find out after that, I guess. Beyond that, do you see uh, maybe a, a D1 or in your future? I do. I'm hoping, going to go to, G obviously, go to State Fair for two years, if not only one. Hoping to go to a pretty decent D1 after that. The goal is obviously to get drafted. I mean, any player's goal is to get drafted. But if that doesn't work out for me, I want to be a DEA agent. Is probably where I'm going to go with that. Nice. Who are your uh, favorite baseball rivalries to get out there and compete against every year? Catholic and Nixa, 100%. No other team, Catholic and Nixa. That's a pretty short answer, but, uh, but uh, uh, one that we've kind of got a theme th through for today. Everyone wants a piece of Nixa, and Catholic has got uh, some of the best pitching in the area, so that's going to be uh, some fun games for you. Yes, it will. Catholic's pitching staff will be really good. Two guys, juniors, already throwing 90-plus in the winter, so they'll be in 93, 94 by the time we face them. So it's on to a great season for Rogersville baseball, it looks like. Uh, looking forward to it? Yes, sir. I'm ready to get out there. One week away and we get to start practices. Four hours, I'm ready to get after it. Once again, your thoughts on being on the cover of the magazine? I really appreciate it, and it's a 100% honor, and I'm glad I'm here. Okay. And that uh, joining us is Blythe Blakey from Logan Rogersville, part of the cover of the Ozarks Baseball Preview magazine this season. I'm Don West. We thank you for joining us for the Ozarks Baseball Previews.